and really just so fortunate to be, um, you know, to be here and everything that's go that's going on. And it's a great place to to, to live. Uh, obviously, in the Tampa Bay area, um, it'll even be better when uh, we get back-to-back -back Super Bowl championships, which is uh, coming down the pike. But we, uh, you know, have really worked hard across uh, the range of issues. And one of the things we focused on in Florida is uh, supporting infrastructure, particularly uh, modernizing and expanding our infrastructure where need be. Uh, we're a growing state. A lot of people that, that, are, that are, have moved here, a lot of people want to move here. Look, I'm happy with everyone we have here. I mean, you know, it's, but, but it's a free country. And so people, when they're in bad environments, when you have states that don't know how to fight crime, when you have fights, states that are locking people down, mandating them, doing a lot of stupid things, people then look for greener pastures. And so that's just what we found. So we've worked really hard um, in terms of what we could do uh, with infrastructure. And some of that is making sure we're doing things with roads and bridges. You know, I was here with Speaker Sprouls just uh, a couple months ago talking about what we're doing, you know, in the Tampa Bay area. We've done stuff on Howard Franklin. We've got stuff uh, over, you know, when you get all the junction, there's a whole bunch of things that we're doing uh, to help uh, make traffic flow better. And it's really important. We're putting huge amounts of money in for that, as well as other parts of the state, and we'll continue to do that. Uh, we've also done a lot uh, to support Florida's water resources. Uh, we've had infrastructure for that because having clean water and good waterways is important. So different reservoirs, helping uh, uh, our estuaries. We don't want the algae going out into the Gulf of Mexico or going into the, the St. Lucie on the other side of Lake Okeechobee. We want to have the Everglades replenished. So we've worked really hard on doing that. We've done more than anyone on that. Uh, but we also want to fortify infrastructure when it comes to uh, communities throughout Florida. We're a low-lying state, we're a storm-prone state, and we're a flood-prone state. And so we work with the legislature to say, you know, how can we address this uh, in a way that's going to protect Florida's communities, uh, protect our economic livelihood, um, and make sure that, uh, that we're doing what we need to do. Uh, so we got legislated last uh, legislated session uh, really a landmark piece of legislation, Senate Bill 1954, and this was Chris Sprouls led it in the House. You had Senator Simpson and others in the Senate working on it, uh, and it laid out basically a roadmap for what we would be able to do uh, to really help both coastal efforts but also inland efforts in terms of uh, making Florida uh, more resilient to, to a lot of the threats we face, particularly from flooding. So we were able to do that, and today uh, we're announcing um, our three-year plan for po a portion of this. So we're going to be doing, uh, and this will be reflected in my budget that we'll do soon, uh, $270 million for over 76 projects uh, across the state of Florida. And that is uh, just the state's portion of it. Uh, as these things work, there's almost always a local match for that. So you're lo really looking at over $500 million uh, of investments uh, to support uh, this type of infrastructure. And this is just part of what we're doing. This is just part of the state component. Uh, we also seeded the Resilient Florida Fund uh, with hundreds of millions of dollars in the current year budget, and we're proposing to do hundreds million more in the upcoming budget. So you're going to end up seeing you know, probably well over a billion dollars in, um, in this over the next couple of years, which is going to be really, really good. And, and so the plan was basically developed. Um, it was a three-year planning horizon. The projects were submitted by local communities, and then they were ranked uh, based on their risk of things like coastal and inland uh, flooding uh, throughout the different parts of the state. Uh, projects included in the plan were submitted by counties, municipalities, regional entities, water management districts, flood control districts, but they were evaluated by the Department of Environmental Protection using the criteria, criteria that was laid out in statute. So sometimes, you know, we did the wastewater grants a month ago, and people said, oh, you didn't give them to this area, but you, they, people didn't look to see the criteria. It had to be in a basin, uh, a BMAP, that particular grant. These grants uh, are going by the criteria that the legislature did in statute. And so, for example, today, uh, here we're here in Oldsmar because uh, we have a project 
which is about $4.3 million uh, here in, in Oldsmar. Um, and this is something that will um, be very, very important for, for what they're doing. And uh, they've identified vulnerabilities, and we're doing it. So we'll put in some money, they'll put in some money, and you'll have over $4 million projects. And so all the projects included in this plan will enhance efforts to protect our communities, coastlines, and shores, and that's very, very important. Uh, we also have um, uh, with us, we have Wes Brooks here. Uh, he's been you know, involved with helping us in this area with federal state relations now, um, is leading the effort in, in resiliency. And of course, we had uh, Julia Neshwat prior to that. But we um, called for the creation of the, the grant program within DEP, and uh, we're happy that we're able to deliver. This is really going to make a difference. And I think that we're going to be, um, you know, probably in, in much better shape as a result very, very soon. So this is just one part. Uh, there's going to be a whole host of other projects that are also going to be announced in the very near future for actually more money uh, than we're doing now. Uh, but this is $276 million, which is just the state's portion. When you match the local matches, you're over $500 million um, over the next few years for just one part. And then you're going to have many hundreds of millions more, which we'll be, uh, which we'll be announcing very soon. So we're, we're happy to, to be here. Uh, we wish uh, the speaker could be here, but in his absence, uh, we're going to have